versus chapter 7 in which we are going to talk about continuous. But that's chapter 7 after the midterm. So first of all, what is a random variable? A random variable, I will abbreviate it as RV. So a random variable is basically a numerical measure of the outcome of a probability experiment. Of the outcome of a probability experiment. So in other words, it depends on chance, right? Depends on probability. What is a discrete? We had this before. Discrete random variable is anything that is finite, right? Or countable. Uh, a discrete random variable will be x number of ch children in a family. It's finite and it's countable. Um, another example, number of pets in a family that a family can have, and so on and so forth. A continuous random variable, we know that, is like time, weight, uh, height, those are continuous random variables. Now, a, a discrete random variable like a continuous, but that's for chapter 7, they, they have what is called the probability distribution of a discrete random variable. What does that mean? Well, of course, the same, the same um, characteristics like before. The sum of all the probabilities has to be 1. All probabilities for any random variable, discrete or continuous, still has to be between negative. The probability has to be between 0 and 1. Now, how can I be given a probability distribution? Oh, I can be given tables. I can be given a graph or graphs, or I can be given a formula, a mathematical formula. So these are the possibilities. And of course, like any like any probability distribution for discrete, which page am I on? I'm on page six. We can determine. So find the mean, uh, mean or expected value. I'm sorry to interrupt. Can you put page five back? Yes, of course, of course. Sorry about that. I can even push my computer further so I can have more room. So we will be able to determine for any, um, or I should say, any probability distribution or any discrete random variable has a mean. And the notation is mu x. And that is the sum of the product of each x times its corresponding probability. We're going to look at examples in a minute. And okay, also, thank you. Thank you. And also, standard deviation and the formula or first of all the notation and this is the square root very similar here the sum of x minus mu squared of course times each probability we will not need to use these we're going to use calculators either TI-84 three, four, and so on and so forth, or a stat crunch. But that's the formula. This is how we determine them. So let's practice this. I'm going to share my screen. And let's look at 6.1. 
And then we have a specific, a specific type of discrete random variable, which will be binomial. And that will be the end of the material for the midterm. I have to remind you that if you did not finish or you don't finish all the work, including 6.2 and the quiz, you cannot take the midterm. Please, I'm begging you. I don't mind begging you. I'm fine. Okay, so uh, let's take a look. What is a random variable? A random variable is a numerical measure of the outcome of a probability experiment. That's what it is. Numerical measure. Um, having values that can be plotted on a line uninterrupted. Random variable is a numerical measure having either a finite or countable number of values of the outcome of a, yes, I am, this is correct, but because we are talking, uh, so we are not talking about discrete. Nope, we are not talking about discrete. If we were talking about discrete, I would have chosen this. Having either a finite or countable number of values. This is specific for discrete. But here they're not asking us to define the discrete random variable. They're asking us to define what is a random variable. Good. A random variable has either a finite or countable number of values. Now we know what fits in here. What does? Discrete. That's it, indeed. Very good. Awesome. Thank you for paying attention. You, you make me very proud. Random variable has infinitely many values associated with measurements. This cannot that be... Will continue. Yes. yes. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for paying attention. Okay, so now uh, you choose whatever you want. I just Should wanted we do to. That one? I'm sorry? Should we do that one? Of course. Decide whether the random variable x is discrete or continuous. Explain your reasoning. Let x this represent the length of time. So I know the length of time cannot be discrete. It cannot, because time can be 0 0.113, but we cannot have 0 0.113 paths in a family, right? So this must be continuous. Time, weight, height are continuous random variables. Um, can we do question six? Question six it is. And after that, can we do 10? 10 it is. So six and then 10. Good. Six. Determine whether the random variable is discrete or continuous. In each case, state the possible values of the random variable. The number of points scored during a baseball game. So during a baseball game, we cannot have 3.925 points. So it must be discrete. I cannot choose greater than or equal to 0 because greater than or equal to 0 also means 0 0.11395. So it has to be fixed and countable. So it must be B. The amount of rain in city B during April that is measured in liters or milliliters or... Um, I, would, I would say that that's continuous. That is continuous. It is continuous. Uh, it has to be greater than or equal to zero. Correct. Correct. Oh, oh, you just chose discrete. I did. Okay, let's look at 10. Okay, this is, what are the requirements? Okay, choose the correct answer below, select all that apply. A seven. Yes, I know. I just saw this and I wanted to, I know you said 10. I didn't forget. I just saw this interesting. So this, the sum of all probabilities has to equal 1. This is incorrect, this is incorrect, and this is correct. So all probabilities have to be 0 and 0 and 1. Yes, 0, yes, 1. And the sum has to be 1. And now next one is 10. Determine the required value of the missing probability to make the distribution a discrete probability. Okay, very good. So all probabilities have to be between 0 and 1, and they have to add up to 1. 
So from 1, we subtract the rest. 1 minus 0.22 minus 0.39 minus 0.22. And I get 0.17. Type an integer or a decimal. 0.17. Um, can we do question eight? Question eight. Uh, determine whether the distribution is a discrete probability distribution. If not, state why. Um, the probabilities cannot be negative values uh, because some of the probabilities are negative, and they must be um, all between zero and one inclusive. Uh, no, because zero is not acceptable. Zero is acceptable. No, because there are reasons to not sum up to 1. Well, even this one is correct. They don't sum up to 1. So I will choose A, but even D is correct. Of course, they don't sum up to 1. Uh, can we please do number 14? Yes, of course. 14. Complete parts A and B using the probability distribution below the number of overtime workers. Okay, they want, okay, excellent. Good. We open it in StatCrunch. Um, my one summary stats columns. I want X and Y. Okay, and I want the mean, and I want the standard deviation. I didn't need the variance, but never mind. Okay, so the mean is 3, and the standard deviation is 2. Um, I don't like this. No, um, I don't think that this will do what we wanted it to do. Because this is this is two columns. Um, what it gave us, it gave us the um, it gave us the uh, mean and the standard deviation for each column. But that's not what I want. I want x times p of x plus x times p of x plus x times p of x. So let me write it down here just for one second so you understand what we are trying to do. So mu x is, hold on, okay, so is uh, 0 times the probability 0 0.03 plus 1 times the probability 0 0.095 plus dot 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 the last one 6 times 0 0.075. This is what I want. And I am trying to go back and see which one of these commands will do that for us. No, not proportion, not variance, not regression, no, not t, not tables, nope. Calculators. It's not normal, it's not uniform, it's not Poisson. Um, discrete. Discrete, uniform, nope. It's not uniform. What is up here? I need the exact command. No, it's not Cauchy. It's not chi-squared. I wanted to calculate. It's not geometric. No, custom. Will it allow me to use custom?
No, it just did that gives me certain probabilities. Control. Not NP. Not P. Nope. I don't want any of those. No, no, this is not a time series. It's not grouped. Oh, frequency. So, yeah. Does it give me, does it allow me to use this? And this is what I want, but it doesn't give me the mean here. Huh. Okay. In that case, oh, I didn't mean to stop sharing. In that case, I have to find the command. Because I don't want the calculator, I mean, this stat crunch, I don't want it to determine, I don't need the um, uh, the mean and the standard deviation for the separate ones. I, this is a random variable. So what I'm going to do is just multiply and add all of them. So the first one is 0, plus the next one is 0 0.095, plus the next one is 2 times 0 0.14, plus the next one is 3 times 0 0.295, and then 4 times 0 0.21, and 5 times 0 0.155, and plus 6 times 0 0.075. Okay? That's the mean. So we have uh, 0 0.095, because the first one is 0 plus 2 times 0.14 plus 3 times 0.295. So it's 3. 0.95, correct. 2 times 0.14, yes. 3 times 0.295, correct. Plus 4 times 0.21 plus 5 times 0.155 plus 6 times 0 0.075. This is the expected value. So 3.325. Where are we now? Okay, round to one decimal place. So it's 3.3. Now they're asking us to uh, find the variance in the standard deviation. Okay. So for finding the variance, um, I have to use the formula. So first I'm going to use, it doesn't matter if you want to find the standard, the variance first and then take the square root. It doesn't matter. So I'm going to write it. So x, so 0 minus 3.3, .3, everything squared times 0 0.03 plus 1 minus 3.3. .3. I don't know. I'm going to use 3.25, the whole number squared, times the probability 0 0.095 plus um, 0, uh, um, 0, 1. So now 2. 2 minus 3.325 squared times its probability 0.14 plus now 3. 3 minus 3.25, 325, squared times its probability for 3, 0 0.295, plus uh, 4 minus 3.325, times 0 0.21, and 5 minus 3.325 squared, times 0 0.155, and the last one, plus 6 minus 3.325 squared times 0 0.075. Okay, since we are here and we want to finish this quickly, I'd like to go back to the calculators and show you how to enter this in the calculator. I can calculate it by hand or let the calculator do it. So stats, edit. So let's edit the first list which has 0 through 6. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 
5, and 6. I'm going to put the probability in the next one. Clear. And the probabilities were 0 0.03 and 0 0.095 and 0.14 and 0.295 and 0.21 and one zero point one five five and last one oh it shouldn't be one two what did I miss two nine five point two one oh yeah 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 enter that's what it is. Okay, and the last one indeed, 0 0.075. And uh, now we get out of there and go to stats, go to calculations. And this is the two variable stats. Uh, let me see one thing if it allows me to. No, it does not. Okay. Okay, and that's the frequency. I could, um, one more second. Yes, it does allow me to do it. Okay, so that's list L2. The frequencies are in the list, list L2. And just calculate. We will see that 3.325 that we already determined, and we see the uh, standard deviation um, as. Um, so the sigma is sigma x is 1.47965. I have to square this number. So 0 0.4, no, 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 no. 1.47965, 4, squared. And that will give us the standard deviation and the standard deviation, the variance, sorry, 2.18936. Okay, so let's, uh, where is my problem? Right here. Okay, and the variance. Uh, they want one decimal place, so I got 2.2. That's the variance. And now the standard deviation, I'm assuming they want that. Uh, find the standard deviation, and we uh, say around to one decimal place, 